Lawrence, Kansas was the center of the college football universe on Saturday beginning before the sun rose, playing in a matchup of ranked teams with ESPN's college game day in attendance. And even though TCU ultimately came away with a 38-31 win, Kansas proved that it belonged in the 5-0 start was no fluke. With starting quarterback Colin Daniels knocked out of the game with an injury right before halftime, the Jayhawks and backup Jason Bean still had a chance to tie the game in the final minute, but a no-call horse collar on third down and an incomplete pass on fourth, a lack of pass interference call. The playmaking lived up to the hype. It just took a half for it to happen. Surprising to most, the first half was a defensive battle. TCU kicked home a field goal on the first possession of the game, but then the Horned Frogs and Jayhawks either had to punt or had a turnover on downs on the next six possessions. The ultimate momentum swing took place close to halftime. At the end of an 80-yard drive, Daniels fumbled the ball trying to extend to the end zone and it was recovered by TCU, who then went 99 yards to make the score 10-0. KU redeemed itself a bit, scoring a field goal on the next possession, but at the expense of Daniel's health. O.J. Burroughs ended the half picking off Max Duggan for the first time this year. Then the fireworks came in the second half. KU and TCU combined for a 21-21 third quarter, complete with incredible passes and catches. Jason Bean was exceptional to start, going 6-7 for 99 yards and two touchdowns in his first three drives on the second half. Meanwhile, a Kenny Logan forced fumble and fumble recovery helped KU jump out to a 17-10 lead. 